go see our cows. Yes! <laughs> oh, they're coming oh, no. now. They think we got treats. I kind of thought our first animal on the farm would be a chicken. But I think it's going to end up being one of these. We're getting three Highland cows in just a matter of weeks. All right, so I just got back from a four hour round trip to Nova Scotia because uh, today was a very big day. One of the biggest pieces of infrastructure you can have on any kind of farm or hobby farm. If you've got livestock, you need some of this. So today I went and I picked up 15,000 feet of electric line and poles and all the tools and everything that's necessary in order to put one of these together. We got 50 acres out there that we need to fence. And this is gonna get me a good part of the way out there. And then tomorrow I go to pick up the other 15,000 feet for a total of 30,000 feet, three strands around 50 acres. So now I've got to hand bomb this stuff off of the truck and put it on some place that'll keep it dry so that I can build the temporary fence in behind those pallets in that uh, about a half, half acre out there that we've cleared up. We'll be putting in the uh, new additions that'll be coming in just a couple of short weeks here, or days even, depending on how fast I can get this done. Time for the knife. Now that's a knife. <laughs> it actually looks really small in the picture. There. That's a knife. So what I did here is I bought 30,000 feet of it's called a timeless fence. Uh, if you've never heard of it, check out Greg Judy on YouTube. Uh, he is a great advocate for this this fencing what it is is it's made out of uh, PVC pipe and I've got six and a half six and a half foot long you bury them about 18 inches and then after that point they're in there pretty darn good and you've got these pre-drilled holes going all the way around and what it does is the 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 pole is the actual insulator so you don't need to get those little insulator clips or anything. Uh, the wire goes through these holes and if it touches the edge, it is the insulator. So it cuts down on the amount of hardware that you need. Heard lots about them. They're probably gonna last longer than I will. So might as well do it right. But that's a bigger project for another day. In the meantime, we've got a temporary fence we need to get up for the delivery of the cows. So since we've been here, we've been developing some really good relationships with some neighbors, some really good, reliable people with lots of experience to come and help us get this up and get it done. So I picked up this new tool called a spinning jenny. Yes, I know. Make your jokes. I didn't make up the name, but that's what it's called. But we were really nervous about putting the uh, high tensile wire on it. We didn't think it would hold it, but it did. And it made the job so much easier when it came to laying out the wire. Stay. Okay. 
So here we had put some cinder blocks around the spinning jetty, thinking that that would help. When you clip the bands, we were afraid it was going to explode everywhere. And I've seen Final Destination too many times, <laughs> so I was hiding behind the truck. And we were told horror stories about this wire if you clip the bands and it would just, you know, expand everywhere and you'd never be able to get it back together. You both, like, hold it in. Okay, if I move this, it'll be 100% okay. Huh. Yeah. All right. All right. Done. Oh, Nobody got the cap to you, Caitlin. I'm not sure if you're uh, happy or disappointed. No decapitations today. <laughs> oh, no, really? Yeah. You have to tell me that before. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want it? Do you mind, be like, if you're in it? I don't care. Next time I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know the channel so you can go. Yeah. Okay. Since that's going to be like the first part of the gate, then we got to treat it like a corner almost, right? So we put like some insulated wire around it, right? Yeah, you got to put that one so it doesn't go out. I thought that was it away. Ah, I thought we were going to walk around with that thing. No. No. Uh, that's why I was going to say, make sure, geez, that it's good because if it... <laughs> yeah, man, if we had to walk around with that thing, it'd be heavy. Yeah. Uh, this, that, this is what that's for. It can stay there and I can just keep pulling. Yeah, right. Take a second. Oh, I can't believe how much easier. It would be way harder if I was doing this by myself. And the spinning Jenny? Game changer. There is one patch over here we're going to have to clear. Kind of change direction just as I'm walking. Oh, I I'm see. I'm like, okay, this is the better path. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to clear. We gotta get helping out so I'm not having to put it down, mm -hmm. tie it off, yeah, walk I back, just, find oh, out what it's hooked on. Some people pass it in the loop and go down. It the just whole thing. ripped the old fence, right? Yeah, so I'm yeah. the other way around if the top broke I still have the bottom they're in they're not together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone think differently? A lot of different ways it's gonna count. That's right. right. <laughs> How the fuck I got that? Oh, yeah, right. Slide them out. I go with the bigger one, I think. Yeah, that one that you want, yeah. yeah. And then we might need one for right here. So once we get them all set up, then we'll take a look and see if we need more or not. Yeah. I'm doing two lines. I keep, I keep thinking of like, you know, it goes like five wire. I'm like, ah. <laughs> he's a cow. He's not yeah, yeah. Don't need as much of it. Switch yeah, go ahead. Kind so of. Yeah, she's loose. So. Yeah, but that's fine because you're in the roll there. You cut it already? Yeah, okay. it's cut there. I just have it slightly okay. tied here, like just literally. It's just right now. You can pull on it as much as you want, but she. It'll retract. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. So you put a tension on it, put your line, your thing where it goes, and I want the end. Got a handful of insulators, and I guess what's going, man? Yeah. I'll pull it on this side for you. Yeah, that needs to be tied better. Yeah, I just wrapped it up. It's all right. It's just to make sure that they don't come out for now. It's gonna be about get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. 
That's a big tree. <laughs> Pretty much about the same way I would have seen So for my first energizer, I went with the Speedrite 3000. This thing is rated for 120 acres, and I was only looking to do 50, so I definitely had enough juice there. Uh, it goes up to 10,000 volts, and I have it hooked up to a small 12 volt battery with a 20 watt solar charger. Later on, I'd have to upgrade the battery, but with the solar charger, it does a great job at extending that battery life. Got my tool. Let's go see what Caitlin's up to. Did she come down this way? Let's see her footprints. Warmed up just enough for us to be able to go out and actually do some stuff outside. It's been snowing for three days straight, if you can't tell. There she is. Out there getting brush cut down for the garden. It doesn't look like much now, but pretty soon it's gonna be a thriving garden. We can put a veggie stand out on the road, cut flowers and veggies and all sorts of goodies. Done a lot of this by hand come with the chainsaw once we got all the smaller brush cut out and then we can get rid of the trees a lot of work but everything in life that's worth anything is worth working hard for what you doing there just cutting down the forest cutting down the forest one bush at a time So it looks like in that field beside us, there 
There is a spring. Because if you look at the water, it is running. Right there. So there is a spring here. It seems to just be coming out of nothing. I mean, it's just a hill here. So it's not running downstream from anything other than this spring. And that is what's been feeding that down there so much and going off into our property over there. Okay, so. <laughs> You're in your pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's only raining harder now. Just as we're trying to get stuff done. Every time I go inside, it's sunny. Every time I come outside, it starts raining and gets windy. Yeah. This will be so helpful, though. For the garden, for hauling stuff. The valve step is supposed to be on the inside or outside. I'm thinking it's supposed to be on the inside. Step five is putting these handles. The boy. <laughs> you ready to go for a ride? <laughs> there was just like big patches and now it's all gone. Yep. And what's interesting is this time that it's melted. I mean, yes, there's a little flooded spot right here, but the rest of it is all, it's not like mud, right? You can actually walk through it. Yeah, it's pretty good. So it's draining well. Like this and, uh, it's all going to be flooded down there for a bit, but oh well. So like any responsible wheelbarrow builder, once you're done with it, got to go for a ride. Ready? <laughs> you're going to lost in the mud. Oh, Chloe. We lost a She man. bailed. Man overboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's too muddy. Well, this is right where the gate is going for the temporary cow pen. So we had stacked all these here in the fall. Now we got to move them again. Somewhere over there, I'm not sure where. Got all the logs here moved out of what's going to be the gateway for the electric fence for the cows. Moved some here for us to chop up a little bit more, and the rest over there. We're out here clearing about a four to six foot perimeter line so we can install the electric fencing eventually. And I just started dumping these huge snowflakes. We thought it was gone for the year. Tying it on there. What did sorry, what did you do? So we made progress. We opened it up for the bit. Very slushy. I ran out of fuel and then and the chainsaw. So there's several trees that got to go down along here, but over where the tree saw is, I'm sorry, the chainsaw. The tree, the tree, the tree saw. saw. 
You can see like a straight line out to the road. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. That'll be our perimeter fence. On the east side. East side perimeter fence. Up to the string. We should disconnect the string from down there and then string it down that way along several flags so we can kind of make a, a line there that we can stick to. Okay. Otherwise we get... Weaving? In every house we've lived in, we've always tried to stick with neutrals for more just resale value and following the trends. But Rob was adamant this time, <laughs> and so was I actually, that we wanted to have something that was our own and that was cheery. And this is going to be our forever home. We just love sunflowers and they bring us so much joy. So never be afraid to paint a little sunshine in your life. With Caitlin starting the seedlings, that garden's gotta get cleared and ready. There it goes!